In this video, we're going to go over a spotlight feature. So this is used for whenever you want to take a certain section out of your um, composition or whatever layer footage that you have, and you want to act like there's a spotlight on it. So it's an artificial spotlight that looks like you're actually painting around, or you can create it that way on your layer. So we just want to go over here to our effects and presets and type out spot. It'll bring this spotlight option. I'm going to drag it and put it on my layer. Notice that immediately it puts what looks like a spotlight on here. Now, uh, looking through here, we see we have some settings. We notice that we can't change the color here, and the reason why we can't do that is because of how it's rendering. So if we change this to light only, you can change the color of your uh, light that way. If you change the intensity, you know, it's it's going to show you that you have the light on there, but it's it's more overpowering for the layer, so you can't actually see what's going on underneath. If you change this to light add, you can change the color. Now, you can still see the rest of the layer, so we don't want that effect. We're gonna go to light shadow. And now what we can do is go up to this from option, click this crosshair, and I'm gonna put it up to the upper left. And then I'm gonna to go to the two crosshair, and I'm gonna move it down to about right here. And we wanna change the height of the spotlight so this is picture this if you had the spotlight sitting on the um, the actual map here in this case right here now as I lift it up it's going to change how that looks so I'm going to move it up to about 70 and then we're going to make the cone angle just a little bit larger and soften it out so it looks a little bit more natural. So we'll go about right there, about 87. Okay, now we can change our intensity. So how bright do we want it? So if we have it less intense, you can see the entire composition. But as we increase the intensity, it's going to create a shadow around and it's only going to put in focus what you see in the spotlight. So this is exactly... Uh, how we want it. So now if I go and drop my effects down here, let's bring this up and drop this down. We're going to set some keyframes and I'll show you how this will move around the screen. So if we scroll through the footage right now, it just stays stationary and doesn't really do anything except show you what's in that view. So we can take the from and the to and change those in order to make it look like it moves around the screen. So if I bring this over bring this up a little bit or down I guess in my case we can set a keyframe here and then if we move forward let's go about one second I'm gonna click this crosshair and we're gonna move it move it let's say about over here so now if we go back and play this back you can see that it's kinda of moving the way that the spotlight looks well I'd also like to move this too and so if we move this over Okay, and then move it up here. We're gonna set a keyframe here, and then we're gonna move forward, and let's go about one second, and we'll move it twice to make it look like it's moving around. And we're gonna go over here, and then from there, we'll go to about two seconds, and we'll move it down. So now if we go back and play this, you'll, you'll be able to see the dynamic of the spotlight moving. So we could even go to here about three seconds and move it over to this side of the screen. And we'll go right here to the edge and move it back. And you can see now it's changing. So if we go through and set some easy ease keyframes on here, that'll give us a little bit more fluid movement. We'll change it and go back. Okay, see that it's looking like it's stopping. And then if we wanted to, let's say, just take one of these out, it will look even better and coming around. So it's kind of panning the, the map there. So these are just some adjustments you can make. It's a good spotlight feature preset. You don't have to go in and create cameras and do all these different 3D things, which we'll talk about later in the course, in order to get that effect. So uh, this was CC Spotlight. And in the next one, we're going to be talking about Particle World, which is one of the coolest effects that you can just generate and manipulate different particles inside of After Effects. So let's go ahead and jump into that one.